what's going on everybody jake the happy snake here and welcome to episode 74 of pokemon trainer jake last time i went through the weather institute and i defeated team aqua admin shelly and i got a cast for him for doing that and then i battled my rival may for the fourth time in the adventure and then i made it to fort tree city and i actually went a little bit beyond that because in order to get into the gym in fort tree you have to get something called the devon scope because uh there are several kecleons that are invisible in this area and so there's that there was a kecleon block in the way right here again it was in, it was invisible so you couldn't see it uh but i i caught a kecleon in the last episode and i also defeated a kecleon the one that was right here so i did quite a bit in the last episode and now in this episode i'm going to be challenging the fort tree gym which is the sixth hoenn gym and falco is currently my highest level pokemon i'm going to put acer in the front he is my lowest level i believe uh, so I have, or actually Banjo is tied for being my lowest level. So I'm going to use uh, my Acer for right now. Uh, my Acer and Banjo I'll probably be using the most because all my Pokemon are pretty co close to the level cap, which is 38, which is the level that Felco's at right now, which means he cannot level up anymore until I get this sixth gym badge. And I was actually looking at all the level caps for Poke MMO, and I believe it, if I defeat the sixth gym, that if I defeat Winona, which is the gym leader in this gym, I the, the next level cap is going to be level 44. So that's pretty good for a bit. Anyways, let's talk to the first trainer here. When Winona takes to battle, her face shines with beautiful determination. I'm not letting you witness that lovely sight. Okay. Humberto has a Skarmory. This is literally perfect for my Acer. Now the Skarmory probably has Sturdy, but whatever. Toxic. That's unfortunate. And yeah, sturdy, whatever. I can deal with that. I can deal with that, no problem. Okay. So, let's just go for the body slam. Oh, for goodness sakes, I should have used Lava Plume again. Crap. Why? Why do you have to be annoying? Are you gonna use Roost again? Yeah. What, like, what is this doing for you? You, This is your only Pokemon. You know that you're eventually going to lose it. And because you have Sturdy, this is going to kill you. This is 100% going to kill you. If this doesn't kill the Skarmory, I'm ending the video right now. Okay. Perfect. Holy smokes. 1,019. That's pretty good. Ugh. Ugh. I couldn't stop you. No, you couldn't. And I'm stubborn. I went back and healed, even though I could have easily used an antidote. It's not like my Acer... Uh, took that much damage, but whatever. Anyways, next try. Oh, good, it's one of these battles. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. So we're gonna have be having another battle immediately after this. Jared. And another Skarmory. Is that the only Pokemon we're gonna be finding in this gym? Jared has three Pokemon altogether. Hopefully he doesn't have Sturdy. Please don't have Sturdy. Aerial Ace, okay. Okay, good, no Sturdy. Um, I believe Aerial Ace is the TM that we get for beating Winona, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, we will be able to use Fly after we beat Winona, which is very nice. Uh, wow, this is really going my Acer's way. Never mind. Forget what I literally just said. Okay, that did nothing. Never mind. I was worried for nothing. Alright, so Lava Plume is going to take up the Tropius. So, Jared has, has two... Uh, two flying type Pokemon that don't evolve, and then he has a Doduo. Okay, I'm not worried about this at all. We're gonna Lava Plume you again. And after this battle, I'm gonna go over to Banjo, because he is now my lowest level. I've, I've learned, what, what I learned from going through Johto is it's good, when you're really close to level cap, it's good to, it's really good to use your lowest level Pokemon, seriously. So, oh right, I forgot, I have to do this, I forgot this, this is happening immediately after, because this is normally a double battle. All right. So. Let's go for Body Slam. I don't know. Yeah. Wasn't sure that was going to be one hit KO, but that's okay. I could use Skull Bash, but honestly, it would have turned out to be the same anyways, except for the defense boost, actually. I always forget about that with Skull Bash. Anyways. Swabble goes down. <coughs> And you have another Swablu.
I feel like I'm gonna get paralyzed at some point. Not now, thank goodness. Alright, we're just gonna keep body slamming because... Yeah. Alright, body slam again. One more body slam, and my Acer is gonna get pretty close to level 38, but he's not gonna get there, I don't think. Which is actually okay with me. Um, so, now we're gonna go to Banjo. Um, and we've got some more trainers to fight, so here we go! The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Fortune Gym, I am not allowed to, I'm not allowed to lose. When, so what happens when, when you do lose? Because you are going to lose. This would be very nice for an Electro-type Pokemon, but I don't have an Electro-type Pokemon, so yeah. Anyways, um, this is the first time we've seen ba Banjo in battle as an Ursaring, actually. I think it might be. I'm so happy to have an Ursaring. Now, Ursaring does have an evolution in, uh, in Legends Arceus, but... I can't remember the name of that Pokemon. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's a ground and normal type Pokemon. And I don't like how this is going, so I'm actually going to switch out here. I'm going to go over to Felco, I guess. Which is not a good idea because... Wait a second. Can Felco... I forget, I thought Felco could get experience still. His, ex his his experience bar is like completely empty, so am I not allowed to get experience? Okay, this Pelipper's kind of started to get on my nerves a little bit. Let's see, can I, can Felco, Felco can still get experience, right? All the way up till, yeah. Okay, good, that's what I thought. He, he just can't level up. Um, so let's... I'm trying to remember the name of Ursaring's evolution. And we defeated Eduardo. Okay, so I have some healing to do. Crap, I forgot about this. Flint has a Zatu, which is actually... You know what? Um... Ursaluna, of course, that's the name. Oh my gosh, Jake. Okay, so we're gonna use a Hyper Potion if I can find them. Um, the burn is a little annoying. The reason why, I wasn't actually gonna do this, but uh, this is a good opportunity for Banjo because he has Faint Attack. Which is super effective on Zatu, and it also has perfect accuracy. Yeah, so uh, Ursaring has an evolution. He evolves into Ursaluna when exposed to a Peak Block in Legends Arceus. Um, but... You know, or sorry, a peat block, not peak. I always want to say peak block. I had Legends Arceus, and I played it once, and then I didn't touch it again. I don't know, I just... I just find it difficult to play a game when you're... Like, I was like three hours into the game, and I had pretty much done nothing. I find it very hard to play a game where they're like, Oh, now we're gonna go to sleep, and now we're gonna go for a picnic, and blah 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 blah. I just want to battle. Like, I was doing very little battle in that game, and I just... I couldn't... I honestly couldn't do it. And I've, I've talked about this before on the channel. Um, I just find it too difficult to play a game that literally, like, if I wanted to do that kind of stuff, I would play Tomodachi Life, seriously. Anyways, a Swallow. Um, I kind of wanted Banjo to take out that, uh, that Zatu. I won't really be overly mad if, I mean, I don't want him to die, but, yeah. What can you do? You know what? This is not smart, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Force Palm, and I'm dead. 100% Betty's dead. Right. There I go call, calling him Betty. Okay, Riker's not dead. I keep calling him, I keep, oh my gosh. Because I had a female uh, Breloom in my Emerald Let's Play named Betty. And, you know, I don't know why I do that. It's annoying. And so I just went and healed off screen. And you know, I just realized something. Uh, this gym does not have the revolving doors that th that that it normally has. Normally, when you play like when you play this game in like in uh, on the Game Boy Advance, if you play Emerald, Ruby Sapphire or Emerald, this gym will have like revolving like bars that you'll have to 
get through, and it's kind of it's a little bit of a puzzle because you have to be kind of strategic about how you move them. But they don't exist here in Poke MMO, which is kind of interesting. So, anyways, this is the last trainer before we get to Winona. You better know that there are all sorts of flying type Pokemon. You do know that, right? Yes, I know that. There's even more. To, actually, there's more than you realize because this goes up to Gen Five. There are nine generations in total. There are lots of flying type Pokemon. Like, I like the fact, you know, actually, honestly, I wasn't big on some of the Pokemon in Gen 5. I wasn't big on a lot of the Pokemon in Gen 7. Gen 6 has some interesting Pokemon, but I really like a lot of the Pokemon in Gen 8. Rookie D, being a pure flying type, is very, very interesting. That's, a, that's, that's unique, because almost all flying types have a dual typing with normal. Like, like most... We saw a Swallow in the normal type gen. There's lots of, like, there are, most flying types are also part normal types. Most flying types are part, are part normal. But Rookie D is a pure flying type, which I think is very, very interesting. Anyways, we defeated that trainer without any issues, and we are now at the gym leader. So, uh, I will have to stock up on revi uh, not revives, on repels, but I don't have to worry about that right now, because right now I have to worry about Winona. So, we're gonna use a Hyper Potion on Banjo. I think that might have been a waste. I probably should have just used a Super. But, whatever. What can I do now? So, I'm gonna start off with my Acer. Because I'm going by what, by what her team is usually in Emerald. She has, in Emerald, she normally has a, I believe, a Swablu, a Pelipper, uh, a Tropius, a Skarmory, and an Altaria. So, I'm hoping that she's gonna be starting with Tropius or uh, Skarmory. But there's a chance she might not. If she tries to start with Pelipper, that could be really bad. So anyways, here we go. Let's talk to her. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Here we go. Hoenn Gym Battle number six against Winona. And I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. She's starting off with Altaria. I don't like that. And you know what? I'm switching out to Tsunami. This is uh, this is too bad because she's going to get a free hit. It's Earthquake. Well, that's going to be neutral. Um, Ice Beam. That's what I switched out for. Tsunami, I mean, Swampert is a physical attacker. Yeah, that didn't... Okay, let's try Rock Slide, because Rock Slide is physical, and Swampert is physical. I don't know. Ah, crap. Okay, I'll, I'll live one more Dragon Claw, right? Tsunami should live one more Dragon Claw. Okay, good. There we go. That, in my opinion, is her scariest Pokemon, and it's, it's, it's done. Okay. Now we can move on. Level 30 for Tsunami, so he can't level up anymore, but, and level 8 for my Acer, so he also cannot level up. Now, up, next up is Skarmory. I'm gonna get as much damage as Skarmory as, okay, so this could be good. I don't know if the Skarmory has Sturdy, but in case she does, I can go right to my Acer, Lava Plume, Skarmory's down. Which is good. And then I'm expecting her to go to Pelipper, if she has the Pelipper. She might have the same team as she does in Emerald, she might not, I'm not sure. We're going over to my Acer, and we are going to use the Lava Plume. So here we go. Roost. Would Sturdy still kick in? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah. Yeah, it still does kick in. Crap. Fine. I guess Roost kind of did help you there, but whatever. Uh. Yeah, now you're dead. That's not that's not healing all your HP. You are dead now. Okay. So lava plume. It's gonna knock out the Skarmory. Critical hit that I did not need, but whatever. Skarmory goes down. Okay. I do love the Hoenn Gym battle theme. It's so good. I haven't actually talked about it yet, but it's so good. Uh okay. I'm switching out here. Now who am I switching out to? Falco, Falco, um, you probably have Ice Beam. What? Why is, why has Pelipper been so lethal? 
I thought, thought that Pelipper earlier in the gym has been real. That was really strong. Holy crap. Okay, so you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I know I use Revive and I don't like to use them because they're so st stinking expensive. But um, I'm gonna go over to Ziggy Zagoon. I'm not using any more revives. Uh, Falco is done. Falco's done for the rest of the battle. Uh, I'm going to use. I'll use a super potion to save on hyper potions. So that will almost up. That will put Tsunami very close to, to full health. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Tsunami. Tsunami has Rock Slide, and I'm gonna use that. So here we go. Super effective. Okay, so one more will do the trick. Are you gonna burn me again? No. Okay. So one more rock slide. There we go. So her Pelipper goes down. There's two Pokemon left. Normal now my guesses would be it'd be either Swablu or Tropius, but we'll see for sure. She has a swallow. Okay, I think she does she have a swallow in Emerald? She does in Ruby and Sapphire, but I don't know about Emerald. Anyways, uh, that's fine. We're gonna go with Rock Slide again. Um, I'm kind of betting on her having Tropius. That's why I wanted to keep my Acer alive. You live with like one HP. Okay, I'm gonna use Ice Beam. Uh, that's honestly okay because at least I got a chance to kill to actually kill you. You you could have you could have possibly taken me out if you used an, uh, like an attacking move, but that's your choice. And this is interesting because Dropius is a grass type, which is four times effective against Swappert. And Swappert has Ice Beam, which is four times effective against Tropius. And I'm gonna hit first. Is that gonna be a one hit KO? Yes, it is. That revive definitely came in handy. I was actually expecting to have to use my Acer for uh, for Tropius. But I did not have to. So there we go. Not bad. Got the Feather Badge. So, yes, we are good for until level 44, which is nice. We get Aerial Ace. Now, Falco learned Aerial Ace through level up. So, I want to see if Banjo can learn Aerial Ace. I think that'd be an interesting move for him to have. Um, let's see. He can learn, and so can Riker. What move would I want to get rid of? He's a physical attacker, right? Earth Ring? Um, trying to see here. Actually, Aerialize is a good move for him to have because of fighting type Pokemon. Now that I think about it. Um, let me just see. Where I can never remember. There are the stats. Uh, yeah. He's 100 attack. Okay, I'm th I am going to teach him Aerialize. I thought I was saving the TM for a future Pokemon in a future playthrough, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use Air, I'm gonna teach him Aerial Ace because I'll get rid of Sweet Scent because that's good for him to have if he's if he's facing fight, a fighting type Pokemon. So there we go. We now have six Hoenn badges, which means we only have two left. However, the next two gyms are very spread out. There's a big gap between this gym and the next gym, and there's a very big gap between the seventh gym and the eighth gym. So. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a while. There is a uh, and we can fly now. We can fly and wait. Is this an easier way to fly? Yeah, it is. This is an easier way to fly. I did not mean to come all the way back to Loveridge, but okay. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go back to Fortree because that's where I want to go. Uh, so yeah, now I can move on to the next route. Um, and I'm gonna be doing that in the next episode. I'm also gonna probably buy some repels off screen. Uh, so I'll be good to, good to go there, and I'm also going to heal off screen too. So, yeah, that is it for this episode of Pokemon Trainer Jake. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all back here on Wednesday for the next episode. I'm going to be heading back into Route 120. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Peace out.